I think to me the, the biggest challenge for our operation um, and that I uh, repeatedly hear from other young farmers and the, the Young Farmers Coalition has done a recently done a survey that I think Lindsay will probably mention later of uh, we had a thousand young farmers from around the country respond to it and one of the top rated issues is land access mm -hmm. and it's particularly tricky here in the Hudson Valley and other places where there's a lot of development pressure or um, even even in cases where land is sometimes protected from development, uh, prices that land sells for are just far beyond the reach of a young or beginning farmer or any farmer really. Um, and so for us, the, you know, the solution has been to rent land, and that's um, on a short-term level worked out quite well. Actually, land rent around here is is relatively affordable, um, partly because there are a lot of non-farming landowners who want to get a favorable property tax treatment, um, so they're willing to rent to farmers. Um, but to purchase land is, has really been a challenge, and uh, it's just it's it's very frustrating to farm land that you're renting. Um, and you're putting so much energy into it. You're putting energy, I mean, just physically you're putting energy into it, but you're, you're improving the fertility of the soil. You're learning about it. You know, there, there's so much to be learned about a piece of land in terms of everything from where it's wet in the spring and you're going to get your tractor stuck to, you know, where the pockets of deer like to browse through or uh, which insects are a particular problem on this piece of land. Just the property that we started farming on on West Curly Corners in this property probably a mile as the crow flies, we had some very different insect pressure on the two, just because of what's in the surrounding fields and things. Um, so you put all this energy into learning a piece of land, into building up the soil on a piece of land, you put all this energy into trying to kind of build a successful farm and, and a successful future for yourself, and you're on land that you have a five-year lease on. And, you know, this land, for example, Greg Farm is, is uh, not protected from development even. And this is great, well-drained soil. Um, so, you know, who's to say, uh, I mean, who's to say in five years what, what will happen, and certainly in, in the next generation, um, what's going to happen to this land? And so it's, it's extremely frustrating as a young farmer to be in that situation. We're There's a lot of work to do. We have their, their model, uh, model um, solutions um, that we are trying to advocate for as the Young Farmers Coalition. One is, is um, kind of a modification of the... Uh, land trust uh, preservation of development rights model um, that has been quite common in the Hudson Valley and other places um, that, that does protect land from development. Um, and what we're advocating for is uh, some additional um, options that can be included in an agreement like that that not only preserve land from being developed, but also preserve its affordability and preserve it as farmland, so it can only be sold to a farmer, um, and it can only be sold at an affordable price. Um, they're doing this in Vermont and Massachusetts with land trust there, and it's it, m it might be kind of crazy and scary to, to think about without knowing the details, but trust me, they, they've, they've worked them out, and there's some really interesting uh, opportunities um, going on out there that we're trying to teach people more about and um, maybe hold up as a model. Um, as, as, one, as one of many solutions to some of these problems that, that we're seeing. Um.